Have you ever played Human Fall Flat? I've not played it, but I have in fact seen it. Alright. Welcome to Jim Bob Crockett Promotions. We have an exciting show for you here this evening, I assume. As always, I don't actually know anything about this show normally. I don't run it. Black Ref runs Jim Bob Crockett Promotions. I am simply making sure that everything is up to snuff. So without further ado, let's get in to our opening contest, Fallout from Battlegrounds. <laughs> and immediately, Black Ref opening the show strong with the Tag Champions versus DS. Can't see the match because the match is not started. Have I ever played Scribble Knots? I have played Scribble Knots. We're here with our opening contest. Your Fist of Friends champions, the McMahons versus D Generation X, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. This is an interesting match for Black Ref to put together here on Jim Bob Crockett Promotions. Uh, by the way, I am Trey, your commentator and Friday Night Fights general manager, but we'll get to that show afterwards. But if you'll remember, the McMahons won their tag titles in a three on three Hell in a Cell match in which Triple H was actually the one that got them the victory while helping his father-in-law. Could that be playing into things here? As we see DX coming out to the ring. Oh, the McMullins! <laughs> I wasn't ready for this! What? That's their fam- I mean, I guess Shawn Michaels isn't family with them. That's- one of them's their family! Why'd they just jump them? They're already the tag champs! Why are they the ones- Beating up D are they like threatened by DX or something? Either way, Shane McMahon and Vince McMahon coming out of the gate, attacking DX from behind. As we see Shawn Michaels turning around with a side Russian leg sweep. I was gonna say, maybe there isn't any more to this, and it's just a friendly matchup to maybe see if DX is worthy of going for those tag titles. I guess the McMahon see it another way. Well, Sean's basically a stepbrother to the mall. The family implodes. As we see a side rush like I don't believe the bell has rung, even though the other two teammates have made their way to the ring. I believe on a technical standpoint, Sean and Vince would be the legal men here. So this is... There's, there's no count-outs as far as I know. Triple H and Shane are staying out of it. But Sean and Vince, they have bad blood ever since Vince pinned God himself in the middle of the ring. And Sean now trying to get Vince up, fighting back. Did he poke him in the eyes? I guess it's not illegal if the match hasn't started. It's just real scummy. As we see Sean now, I said she. As we see Sean now throwing Vince in the ring, then throwing up the DX symbol. They're not in DX attire, but maybe Vince is afraid of what would happen if there was a DX revival on his watch. Shawn Michaels going up to the top rope. Flying elbow comes crashing down on the chairman of WWE. The crowd going wild as Vince rakes the eyes of Shawn Michaels. Now sending him into his corner, looking to call on his son for backup. Big punch there by Shane McMahon. Looked like he was going for a German suplex, but Shawn Michaels fighting out of it. Side Russian leg sweep. To the man that maybe Vince considers his only true son. If this attack is anything off it, but maybe not, because we literally did see them beat the crap out of each other at Battlegrounds, fighting over that money belt. But either way, they know how to work together when it matters. Big back-to-belly suplex. Or belly-to-back suplex. Shawn Michaels getting Shane McMahon up. Picking, oh no! Pile driver! That might have just broken Shane McMahon's neck. Yes, Shawn is the true son. 
the true son of God, Jesus Christ himself, Shawn Michaels, tags in Triple H. Japanese ref, very perturbed by these series of events. Oh, what a bludgeoning blow to the head of Shane McMahon. As Shane now punching back, fighting his brother-in-law. You have to wonder if maybe this attack... You know, was he in on this attack, or was it all his dad's idea, and he was just forced to play along? Either way, Shane McMahon... Oh, missile dropkick to Triple H. Getting his brother up to their feet, and Triple H just slams him down. Now going for the pin. One. No, Shane McMahon sending him flying away. That's for sure. As we see Triple H now just squeezing Shane O'Mac's head. Wrenching the neck, putting some nasty torque on there. Triple H putting Shane McMahon on the ropes. Can't be good whatever he's planning here. And it certainly is an off-the-rope suplex. Shane makes the tag to Vince just barely as Triple H was trying to stop him. Big clothesline. Vince coming in hot. He's getting hyped up multiple knees. Triple H trying to make the tag now, but Vince knows that strategy. He's not going to let him do it. And he's going to get Triple Oh, the Stone Cold Stunner from Vince to Triple H. The crowd going wild. One. Oh, Vince able to break it up, and here comes Shane O'Mac. But, oh, and he just bopped his dad in the face. What is, it looked like Vince was getting Shawn Michaels in the pile driver, but Shane just punched him square in the nose. The family implodes yet again. And could that second family implosion suck it? Turn this match around for Vince McMahon. Double A spine buster. Vince in real trouble here. Sh Sh Shane's cheering Triple H on. A double turn here tonight as Triple H gets Vince McMahon up for a sidewalk slam. Maybe Vince shouldn't have turned on his son-in-law as it appears his true son didn't quite like that. Vince in trouble as he gets hit with the pedigree. Into the pin here now. One, two, and Shane's still going to break it up. He may be mad at his dad, but he doesn't want to lose this match. They're still the tag team champions. The crowd going absolutely apeshit here tonight for this opening contest. Vince McMahon throwing Triple H aside. But the jawbreaker turns things around. What is this? Oh, what a chop sends the old man flat on his back. Tagged to Shawn Michaels. Shawn going for the top rope. Could be looking for that flying elbow once again. And he connects. Vince McMahon has to be on the verge of a heart attack at this point. Shawn slowly into his feet. Big chop. And a high impact DDT. I don't know how much more this Vince can take. Shane's cheering on Shawn Michaels now. Tuning up the band. Going for sweet chin music to Vince McMahon. Into the pin. One, two, three. Shane didn't even get in to break it up this time. He's too fed up with his dad. DX have pinned the tag team champions. And you have to maybe blame Shane a little for that one. Maybe you have to blame it entirely on Vince McMahon. It's There's so many family implosions happening all at once in just this opening contest. Is this, oh, I thought that said WF good. I didn't realize it said dog. Oh. But either way, the tag team champions have been defeated here tonight. And you have to imagine... That that's got to put DX near the front of the line for those tag titles. Shane broke up the first pin, so Vince got more hurt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, so he could get hit with both finishers. Well, that was quite the exciting opening match. So let me take it on down to the dunk cam so we can get Dunks' opinion on this tremendous evening. Dunks!
What do you have to say about this turn of events? Dunks. He's dead. Dunks. Oh goodness, what do you think about DX and the Man Family Implosion? Thank you for the thrilling insights. Once again, dunks everyone. So let's move on. You can lay your head back down, dunks. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's still just staring at me. We're gonna move on now to our next matchup here tonight. Hello, Dunks. He's moved closer to me. Thank you. That will make Dunks cam much easier. Don't change that channel. We have single Insightful Dunks. And apparently we have an Italia versus Becky Lynch match coming up here. Uh, let's let's get some fun facts about Natalia and Becky Lynch. What are their win-loss records? Let me inform you right now. Natalia. Oh, this is Becky Lynch's singles debut. Whereas Natalia is one and two here tonight. So Becky Lynch looking to make a big name for herself here to potentially face Asuka at SummerSlam. So let's move on now. As we're going to get right into this action is a third and immediately we're going to see a bit of a lock up of Natalia trying to grab Becky Lynch from behind only to get swung you aside I still hate this Becky Lynch outfit it's be a great like I get that it's like a skin colored ready, shirt but it actually looks like she's just wrestling wearing a bra candidate. it's horrible Becky Lynch getting Natalia up now no Natalia reversing into a neck breaker Natalia's going to be looking to help even out her win-loss record here. While Becky Lynch wants to have a big debut. Have you ever noticed that creative wrestlers don't get booked as much in uh, in-game wrestling? Uh, I think they do, but I think they tend to get put in the main event more often. I think it's also because, uh, because it, like, bases it off the power rankings and stuff. When Jacob was the general manager, he would use real wrestlers quite a bit more than, uh, the custom wrestlers and save the custom wrestlers for main events and stuff. So the game kind of took note of that. Since he used real wrestlers more, they tend to get put in more. Uh, but, like... We still have our Fight Master Championship main event. Black Ranger defending his title here tonight. I actually have no idea against who. I just know he is defending it, but I have, I have genuinely no idea who is stepping up to face Black Ranger. Could it be Christian after he was called out by Black Ranger at Battlegrounds? We'll just have to tune in to find out. As we see Natalia picking Becky Lynch up for that Alabama Slammer. When the bell rings. Dunks is not like that. He got up and walked away. Natalia, I think, could be looking for the sharpshooter here. No, just stomping down on Becky Lynch's solar plexus. Trying to tenderize that tummy. <laughs> the fuck? Natalia falling in the corner. The crowd, not fans of Natalia, apparently. I, for one, would like a triple threat Cena match. You mean like three Cenas in a triple threat match? Or Cena putting his title on the line in a triple threat match? Look at that diving elbow from Natalya. Oh my god, Discus Lariat. I did not see that coming. Into the pin. One, two. Oh, and Becky Lynch kicks out. I think the crowd kind of coming down from their high a little bit from that DX versus McMahon's match. To open this show. Three Cena's in one match. Well, maybe that'll be your SummerSlam match. Uh, that's all up to Thorne. It's his title on the line. As we see the Beck exploded to Natalya. Becky Lynch looking to make a big win for her singles debut. Into the pin. One. No, oh, Natalya kicking out at one. And Becky Lynch absolutely shocked here. Staring Natalia down and throws her down 
for the disarmer. Natalia in trouble. Center of the ring. Is she going to tap? And Natalia has no choice but to tap Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch wins. Winning. In her singles debut. Good for her. Write down the fun facts, which is that Becky Lynch is the winner. And we saw a good discus lariat. That was almost the end there. Oh, let's get a, another angle. Love it. But this Beck Sploder here turned things around, and it was the disarmer that clinched Becky Lynch this victory. Could she be working her way up towards a match against Asuka? Who knows? I don't know. Does Black Ref know? Who? I have absolutely no idea. But we're going to move on to match number three. And it's... Uh, okay! I, was off. I guess it's not the main event! Black Ranger putting his title on the line here tonight against British Bulldog. I guess Black Black Ref b moved this match to the middle slot. He must have something else planned for the main event. Either way, Black Ranger, of course, your Fight Master champion, meaning his title is defended 24-7. Black Ranger also murdered Gilbert at Battleground. Uh, while d retaining his title, he actually killed Gilbert. We've yet to find Gilbert's body, just for the record. We've got the law... Working on the case. We'll get to you details of that situation as they unfold. Be sure to tune in to our next pay-per-view SummerSlam, which is a joint memorial for both Heath Slater and Gilbert. Either way, it is time to get into this Fight Master Championship match. Black Ranger versus the British Bulldog. This is it, guys. And right at the gate, belly to belly suplex from the British Bulldog. Black Ranger has reported having nightmares of being in the woods and hearing chanting of Gilbert. What, what a nightmare to have. What is the chanting? Oh, wait, wait, I get what you mean. You, hearing chants of people going, Gilbert. Gil I thought you meant he was having, like, dreams of Gilbert chanting at him. And I'm like, what does that sound like? We are dropping some frames. I apologize. Uh, I'm, we're actually losing all of our frames, so I am going to pause this for a second. I apologize for the interruption, but we just suddenly got the fucking red square of death. So let's, uh, let's just give this a nice minute. Yeah, we're like dropping insane frames. Blinking a bit here. I think we're, we're coming back to life. I think we might be good to go. Nope. Immediately drop some more. Mm. One of those things that's real iffy. Dunks. Dunks is chewing on his sucker ball. If I wasn't positive it would also drop frames, I would turn on Dunks cam. But yeah, we're at like... We're, drop, we're losing all of our frames right now, so there's actually like no point in me turning... On the match, unfortunately. I hate when this happens. Especially because it was working perfectly fine. Jesus. Oh, shoot. I almost just spewed this two liter of drank all over me. But once I get this drank... Dunks, dunks, dunks. Alright, I'll turn on dunks cam. Here we go. Dunks cam, cam incoming. And we'll, uh... Hey, Dunks. Dunks, come here. Hey, look. You looking, Dunks? People want to see you, they say. Hello, Dunks. It's very dark and spooky in the corner he's in. What do you say about tonight's show, Dunks? He said, where's all miss? All right, that's been your Dunks cam. And we are going to jump back into this title match as our frames have in fact returned. Uh, where's All Miss indeed? As we're back, Fight Master Championship on the line. Black Ranger versus British Bulldog as British Bulldog gets knocked to the outside. 
history of our great business can get now normally the fight master title will be fought under some kind of gimmick a false count anywhere rules this is a normal singles match so for once black ranger could actually retain his title via count out or dq should the need be but i don't know if black ranger would want to do such a thing as british bulldog now oh getting uppercutted by the black ranger who's got him up gut buster on the outside Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe that's exactly how this match is going to end. No. He's sending British Bulldog in the ring. He wants to beat British Bulldog. Getting him up to his feet. Into the ropes now. Oh, I don't know what was happening there, but British Bulldog countered it. And Black Ranger turns it around with a counter of his own. But now, British Bulldog Jawbreaker trying to crack through that helmet that both hides Black Ranger's identity and protects him from head moves. Some debate the legality of wearing a helmet in a wrestling match. Black Ranger doesn't care. Belly to belly suplex. I think British Bulldog could be in real trouble here. Mighty Morphin power kick. Who keeps giving British Bulldog all of these title matches? Has he ever won a match? I feel like this is something I should look up here in a minute when this match is done. Either way, things not looking good for the Bulldog here. Big knees to his sternum. Into a side Russian leg sweep. Black Ranger just staring down at him pitifully. It's time for him to finish. British Bulldog off gets him up. Black attack. And it looks like Black Ranger is going to retain his title once again. One. Two, three, and that's another loss for the British Bulldog. As we see him celebrating his time. Oh my god! Corey, I want to tell you something. This has been building for a long time. It's finally going to break down right now. I think you can really just feel the tension in the air. Christian coming out. He's taunting the Black Ranger. You're absolutely right, Dunks. I don't think we're going to have to wait much longer. Not at all, Dunks. He's going he's gonna to take the fight right to him. The uh, Japanese ref trying to stop this. This is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad if these two collide. It could destroy the world. Let them fight. I want to die. Trash. Oh, there's a right hand and another one. Here we go. Right and left. Brawl underway. Oh, there's the security. It's black ref and Japanese ref and old screw up. All three refs. And there's... Oh, he's Superman punched Black Ranger. And they're going at it. Black ref, Japanese ref, old screw ref all having to work together to keep these monsters at bay. The British jobber. And we have finally managed to split up Black Ranger and Christian. You know, they, they, they traded some harsh words at Battlegrounds, and it looks like they meant it, and they don't plan on forgiving each other anytime soon. By the way, the British Bulldog is now 0-7. Just, uh, just for your, your fun fact there. The British Bulldog is 0-7, which I believe is the worst win-loss record in WWE Universe history. So now, you know, we've gotten all of our security out there. It took everyone to keep those two from destroying the WWE Universe. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that I... No, don't tell me. No, 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 no. I'm... I'm receiving reports now that... Oh, no. We sent all the, the guards and referees to go break up that fight, and it seems like there's another fight going on backstage. And there's no one there to break it up because we're still holding back Christian and Black Ranger. So this fight, it's just free to go on. Roderick Strong, his reanimated corpse, running into Kalisto. They, everything seems to be fine. What? Oh, and the Roderick Strong attacking Kalisto. Of course, Roderick Strong under the control of Ruby Riot. I don't think Kalisto realized that, though. He must not watch the program. I also don't think he's ever had a match here on Jim Bob Cock Promotion, so maybe it makes sense he didn't know what happened to Roderick Strong. 
who's now attacking and sending Kalisto hard onto the concrete. Kalisto in trouble here. He's tossing Roderick Strong aside. Getting him up to his feet. Kalisto just trying to defend himself. Dean Ambrose in the background. Is it JoJo interviewing him? I guess they don't want Renee interviewing him. Don't want to mix business with pleasure. As Kalisto elbows Roderick Strong in the face. Hurricane Rana on the concrete. Kalisto might want to watch his back. Because you know Roderick Strong isn't doing this on his own. And if he's attacking Kalisto, the other Mizzards can't be far behind. But Kalisto doing a great job of defending himself. Just kicking the crap out of Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong maybe trying to snap him out of this puppetry. But that bodyguard should go do something. Why'd security just run away? He must be scared of the Roderick Strong puppet. Oh, there goes Dean Ambrose. He's booking it. Everyone terrified of what the Mizzards can do now. They've heard the rumors that the Mizzards were involved with that huge storm. Though no one can prove it or know what they were planning. Oh, what a reversal into a DDT by Kalisto. Who now gets Roderick Strong up. Schoolboy kick. You can't teach that type of talent. Roderick Strong. Writhing on the ground. Kalisto sending him. Uh, tried to sit him in that table. But Roderick Strong's ability to not feel pain. Save him a bit there. Selena Del Sol. I thought he was going to Selena Del Sol him through the table. And that's not enough. Kalisto isn't just trying to defend himself anymore. He is trying to snap Roderick Strong out of Ruby Riot's spell. I don't even... Was it Big Papa Smurf that paralyzed Roderick Strong? I don't even remember anymore. I think that's what happened back when Big Papa Smurf had the Fight Master Championship. Where's Roderick Strong? He, it's like he's trying to carry Kalisto off somewhere. Where is he trying to take Kalisto? Well, Kalisto, he's going to take Roderick Strong away from whatever direction he was going. And he knows that there can't be anything good back there if that's where Roderick Strong's trying to take him. And Strong now throws Kalisto into that hard table. Big right hook there. Kick to Kalisto's gut. Massive chop. Another right hook. And I, th I thought he was going to hit the skull crushing finale for a second there. But he's going to hit that Messiah backbreaker into another right hook. Followed by the... No, what is that? The paralyzer. Is, is, is Kalisto's mask falling off? I think Kalisto's mask... Might be falling off. What kind of deadlift power bomb was that? Roderick Strong busting out some wild moves here. Attacking Kalisto for seemingly no reason. Kalisto, a security guard just disappeared. But now he's got him up for the devil's knees. Roderick Strong still not finished with him. Grabbing him from behind. Oh, what a German! He'd think he just snapped Kalisto's spine. Why on earth would the Mizzards send Roderick Strong out to attack Kalisto like that? I fucking hate universe mode, man. It's such a piece of shit. Alright. The fr frames are back. I apologize for the short break. It wasn't very short, but I apologize for the interruption. We've gotten security back there to help everyone out. And by help everyone out, I mean I have no idea where Kalisto is. He just straight up disappeared. Uh, imagine Roger Strong took him off wherever he was trying to kidnap him to. I don't know what the Mizzards want with Roger Strong. But, I'm sorry, I don't know what the Mizzards want with Kalisto. But they took him either way. Hopefully, Roderick Strong didn't just break his spine. So Ruby Riot could take control of him. Because if they're just going and breaking spines so Ruby Riot can make more puppets, we're about to have a massive army on our hands. But we have 
one more match for you this evening. It is the main event of the evening. I would have expected it to be the Fight Master title match. I have absolutely no idea what it is since it is not the Fight Master Championship match. But we are going to get right in to this excitement if I can get the mouse to work so I can actually turn off the WWE logo. What could this be about? What the fuck? Why is Roderick Strong coming out here? Here we go. Let's find out. He, th we assume he took Kalisto. Oh, I really hate how, like, actually breaking character for a second. I hate how off-center his name is on his pants. We assume he took Kalisto somewhere, but why is he coming back out to speak here? Definitely. Every time I come out here in front of all you people, I get a rush. A chill runs up my spine and beads a sweat form at the top of my head. Something's off, because tonight, I'm not getting that rush. Mizzards have stated that the storm was not them and there's nothing to worry about. Oh, I really trust that. I did it the right way from the beginning. I earned the respect of the WWE Universe. To be honest, where has that gotten me? I'm still just here with a microphone in my hand. I ain't the top of the world like I should be. Thirsty dogs. I've had it with all of you. You've never really cared about me. All you ever wanted was to see me break myself into a million pieces for your entertainment. Well, here's my response to that. The WWE Universe can kiss my ass. I'm sure a lot of you are asking yourselves why. You know what? So am I. I'm asking why I haven't done this sooner. It's been fun, WWE Universe, but it's time to go into business for myself. Maybe if you guys paid me in dollars instead of cheers, things would be different. But here we are. Peace out. And you know, that has to be a sting to the fans because that is not Roderick Strong saying those words. Ruby Riot is in control of his body. She is toying with the fans. Well, I guess now we have no choice. But to move on and go to our main event of the... What the fuck? What is happening? What is happening? He's back! They're both back! Is Roger Strong turning I swear to God I didn't do this! I promise you I didn't do this match! I really thought the Black Ranger match was last and then I backed out, but I assumed they would keep the Black Ranger. I assumed it was either going to be Black Ranger or Braun Strowman. He broke out of the insane asylum! The former general manager of Jim Bob Crockett Promotions is back and he's immediately trying to fight Rock Lee. What is- <laughs> Kalisto's missing, Gilbert's dead, Ruby Riot's using Jim Basa. Gilbert's dead, Kalisto's missing, Ruby Riot's using Roderick Strong to make a mockery of everyone, the McMahon family's exploded, and then the former general manager's back, and he's fighting Rock Lee. Was Rock Lee ready for the- why is he out there? Why is the Black Ref allowing this? Did he be what happened to Black- did someone be- Oh, you know what? Black Ref was distracted from the last two fights, and Jim Boss snuck his way in here. Rock Lee must have sensed this presence, and we can't keep these two apart. They're making themselves the main event. Black Ref sent Rock Lee to deal with Jim Boss once and for all. It's the final solution. What do you believe Wang is thinking about? We gotta call the law to get Jim Boss out of here. And sent back to that insane asylum. Oh, what a kick by Rock Lee, who misses the punch, getting back in the ring. Oh, but Jim Boss gonna throw him down. There's a Northern Light suplex to his arch enemy. Jim Boss on the second rope. <laughs> 
Just play where the crowd hates it. They love Black Ref. He's been a much better general manager than Jim Boss. Not going to win many matches with that. The crowd, they don't want to see Jim Boss come back, and they don't want to see him beat up Rock Lee. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Jim Boss now with the head scissors. Oh, I'm so fucking glad I didn't see that this was the final match. I definitely admire his Oh, this, what a surprise. Sit out blockbuster to Rock Lee. Meaning he might have to be a little more ruthless than usual if he wants to win this match. As we see, Jim Boss still lifting him up. No, Rock Lee fighting back with the STO. Now, uh, Rock Lee stomping on his spine. Giving him the old Roderick Strong treatment. Excuse me. Dunks very perturbed by these events. Jim Boss reversing the suplex and picking Rock Lee up for the gut. Oh, he hung his throat up on the rope. He just tried to decapitate Rock Lee. As he's got him up. No, Rock Lee reversing punch to the back of Jim Boss's head. That's going to really affect his mental issues. Agitate him real bad. As, oh my god, what a roundhouse kick by Jim Boss. Rock Lee might be knocked completely unconscious. One, two, three. And Jim Boss just knocked Rock Lee clean out with that roundhouse kick. Look at it again. Oh my god. That was so brutal! Rock Lee may have suffered from a concussion after that kick. Japanese ref, he's, he, he doesn't know what to do. This was his former boss. He respected that man. Wizards have also stated they have no interest in Tiger's corpse and that you don't even need to guard it. There's so much going on! Oh, he's got a police slope! What is it? How long does he have that? There's so much happening. Dunks, can you give us your opinion on this turn of events here on this fallout from Battlegrounds? Dunks, where's all this? 